Hello everyone. Thank you for attending this webinar. My name is Pail Davalia and I am part of CMDB support team. In this webinar, we will be discussing about Eterm Integrator product, its functionality and configuration. Let's go through today's agenda. But before we begin, please know that this is a public session and by participating, you are consenting to being recorded. Please be mindful of any information you share and know that others will be able to see and hear anything shared in this forum. In today's agenda, we will be discussing about Atrium Integrator in detail, its usage, how it is installed and how we can run it manually or automate via CMTB UI. How do we access Pentaho Spoon client for creating or modifying an existing job? Working on a demo to show a job and transformation creation along with the data load into CMDB computer system class. Using CMDB console to access AI jobs and schedule it for automation. How do we monitor job run status and logs if there is any failure to the AI job? So let's start with the overview of BMC Atrium Integrator Spoon. AI job can be used for multiple purposes. But the fundamental is always the same, which is it helps in extracting data from an external source, transform it for correction and then load it into BMC Remedy form. AI connects with Pentaho client to allow creating jobs and modifying and creating transformations. AI Spoon client is installed on server with AI servers installation. And for installing it in local system, we need to install ATM integrated client. The jobs created in Spoon client are also known as Pentaho jobs, Spoon jobs, AI jobs, and many more. AI jobs can be either triggered manually directly from Spoon client or it can be scheduled from CMDB console using Atrium Integrator console. Now let me show you few examples of available steps that are used for data extraction, transform, and load. AR input, CMDB input, table input, LDAP input are few of the steps that are mostly used and supported by BMC. AR input is used for fetching data from the Remedy AR forms. CMDB input is used to fetch data from CMDB forms. LDAP input is to fetch data from Active Directory. Table input is for database fetch. For transformation, we have after extracting the data, we need to transform so that it can be loaded correctly as required by target CMDB forms. Few example of transform steps are add constant, select values, calculator, and many more. Once the data is transformed, it's pushed to target BMC forms using load steps like CMDB output, AR output, AR upsert, Excel output, table output. CMDB output is used for loading data into CMDB forms. AR output and AR upsert is used to load data into AR forms. We, would, we, we do not recommend using AR output or AR upsert step for CMDB form load because this cause causes an issue where class ID mismatch happens and it leads to multiple error. So to perform extract transform load, we need to access Atrium Integrator Spoon Client. Let's see how it can be done. If you have access to AR server, then it can be launched directly by logging into AR jump box and launching application with name BMC Atrium Integrator Spoon. Another way is by launching this application in local system where AI Spoon Client is installed. Here are the locations of the actual bat file and this bat file is created on the desktop as a shortcut from where this can be launched. Once we have logged into the Spoon client, let's see how we can create a transformation and a job. The first step of creating a Spoon job would be to create a transformation. To do this, we connect to external data source by creating connection depending on database type. We transform it, correct it, identify the unique identifier according to which we decide if this if a record is needed to be created or it should be updated via the load step. This transformation is then added to a job which can be scheduled from AI console. We cannot directly schedule a transformation using AI console and that is where we need a transformation to be linked to a job. Now let me show you how to access Spoon then creating a transformation and a job. Let us log into BMC Atrium Integrator Spoon Client. It gives a page to select the server or to add one. This is my server. Here is my AR credentials. 
Now I am logged in to Spoon for my server. To check the existing jobs and transformation, I click on this folder button. This gives me the list of all the present jobs and transformation that I have currently in my system. Let's see how we can create a new transformation and job. Here in this plus sign, we get the option of transformation and job. Let's select transformation here. Once the console for new transformation is loaded, in the design tab, you will see all the options that are available in Spoon for doing the extract transform load. Here in this input, we have multiple steps and depending on our requirement, we can select any one of it. But now in this case, since we are working for BCM job, I will be taking the database input as the input step. Table input is the step that is used for database input. Here is the database input. I have already created BCM database connection. Here are the details. And just to check if the connection is successful, you can also click on test button to see if the connection is going through successfully or not. Here we need to put in the query. I will add this SQL query. Here. So if you have the database query given by your database team, then you can directly copy paste it. Or if, you, if you're not sure of it and you want to configure or create your own database query, you can start from here. It's SQL select statement. This shows you all the tables that are present on your database and accordingly you can perform the requirement or create the database query. Once I have the input selected, I will go with the steps to modify my data so that it is acceptable by the CMDB form. Let me add few steps like add constant and calculator to perform my data correction. I'll just create a connection between all the steps and for the data load, I'll be using CMDB output. Let me align all the steps. In add constant, I want my serial number, whatever serial number value that is coming from BCM, I want it to be having an extra addition of BCM added. Value BCM. In the calculator, I will create a new field where I will be appending the value which is coming from BCM and the one that I want to add into my system. So here I have ha added few constants. Then using the calculator step, I have appended my BCM value onto the existing serial number. And these are the part of transformation. There are multiple ways and multiple uh, things that can be done using the transform configuration. Then finally, I have a CMDB output to load the data into BMC Core BMC Computer System form. Here, I am pushing this data into dataset BMC Sandbox DCM, which is under the namespace bmc.core. The qualifier that I have used, the unique identifier that I have used, a serial number which is mapped with device ID, and then the field mapping. First, the incoming data will be compared with the CMDB data based on the serial number. If there is an existing serial number found based on this comparison, it will update the existing record with this para with these fields. If not, then a new record will be created in a CMDB output. Then I have configured an error logging step just because let's say if there is any failure happening to any one of my record, then that would not lead to the complete failure of the job. Rather, it will just take that failed record into the error logging and it will allow the rest of the records to process. Let me now add this transformation to a job. For this, I'll be going to job. Here, first I'll go with the start. I'll take the transformation step. And then success. Let me just align the steps. Okay, this steps needs to be connected. 
once this is this is done i'll just give the reference of my bcm transformation and then save this before saving we need to make sure that in the log property we are specifying the ar connection and the table name so that this can be shown in cmdb ui if we don't make the settings we cannot see the run status of the job in cmdb ui now when i run this job you can select here the logging details let's go with row 11 and launch this we can see the progress of it so before we schedule the job from cmdb ui when we are creating a new one we just make sure that everything is fine on the job level so let me now run the job once this job is running you can monitor the progress and transformation this is how you can see the read written output and all the data that are being processed by the spoon. Once everything on the transformation is finished, BCM job is set to finished status. Let's see the data that are being pushed to computer system form. I'll just check for the data set where I had pushed. Here you can see I had limited my data for 100 and here you can see all of my 100 data is moved over here. So these are the data that has come into my system from BCM database. Let us discuss on how do we access AI jobs from CMDB console. First we log into ITSM homepage. We expand application to find Atrium core. Then launch configuration manager dashboard. And this gives a login page if RSSO integration is not in place. Otherwise it directly logs in. And from there you can select job and manage Atrium integrator option. How do we monitor if the job is still in progress or if it has failed or not? So for that, we go to executed tab and there you will be seeing the job status and the run history. And along with that, if you click on run history, you will be, you will be getting the option to check on the login details to see what are the input, how many input records have been processed and which all failed and what was the output of it. When you run it directly from Spoon, you get that on the Spoon client. But how do we understand the input source, the failed records and the output which were moved to CMDB record successfully? And for that, we, we need to check on the logging details. Let me show you a demo of same. Let me show you how we can access CMDB portal. Expand application. Here we get an option of Atrium Core Configuration Manager Dashboard. This allows the CMDB portal to log in. Since my system is not RSSO integrated, I get this page to enter the credentials again. Once I'm logged into the system, I go to Jobs, Manage Atrium Integrator. Here in the list of total, I can see the job that I created on the Spoon client. And here I get an option to start. This is how we can run a spoon job from the AI console manually. And also if needed, we can add a scheduler. This scheduler will allow the job to run as per the schedule given. Here, depending on the server availability, we can decide which server we should be using in a server group environment. Let's go with the default card server. Let's see if we can just set it to run on a weekly basis every day. and save this. So once I have saved this, I get a message schedule has been created successfully. Here if I go to my page, I don't see this job to be executed as of today because here the time filter is selected as of today. Let me check it for last 30 days. Here I get this list of PCM job. Here in the run history, we can see the run history of this job and the status if it was completed or if it failed. Now, to look more on the details on the logging, you can navigate to logging details to get the details on the successful run of the job. That's all on the Atrium Integrator Spoon client. I hope this webinar would have been helpful to you to understand how do we access Atrium Integrator, what actually it does, how it does and what is its importance. Thank you for being part of the webinar.